You want to edit appearance over here in the drop down menu. And let's change the world settings to environmental settings midday. So we get some natural lighting there. So, um, and then there's a button down here um, in the corner, uh, right corner of the viewer called inventory. And you want to open that up. In this case, it's saying, this is your inventory, which contains objects, note cards, clothing, and other things you own. To wear an object or outfit, drag it onto yourself. To bring an object into the world, drag it onto the ground. And to read a note card, double click. Well, okay, we're not going to do any of those things. We're going to edit our appearance. So the first thing we need to do here, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see, is that we need to add new body parts. So we'll right click and it'll say new folder. I'm not going to create a new folder. I'm just going to create new body parts, new shape. Okay. There it is. I'm going to create some more things. New body parts, new skin. New body parts, new hair. New body parts, new eyes. You get the idea. Now, we're going to wear all of these right click where right click where click on the new skin where new shape where and there is default wearable body parts okay so now let's drag over this control where we can see it And this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to edit the body, you've got slide bars here for height, body thickness, body fat, and so forth. And then also you'll see a selector down here male and female or female and male. Female is the default Ruth. Male, I don't know if we've given him a name yet. Anyway, he's a little too thick for my comfort. And a little taller. Anyway, okay, so then you want to remember to press save down here or save as because uh, if you don't it won't save it and um, I'm not going to revert, but you understand what it's not not active here. Okay. Anyway, um, so let's go to the head. So here on the head, you can change the head size, stretch it, you know, and so forth. You get the idea. Okay. So now that's how you customize your avatar by wearing. We'll we'll get into more advanced uh, clothing design and things like that later. So now how do you build? Well, you build by using your mouse arrow and right clicking and hitting create on the ground in front of you. You get a little little uh, magic wand here. So I'll zoom in on that. So you see. And you right click on that and well actually you've already done that. We right click create. So now you have this this little menu down here where you can choose the in-world object. So in this case let's just make it a sphere. And we're right there, we click and a sphere appears. Now the de default mode is usually to have and your hand points at the object you're editing. So the default mode is usually to have position. But in some cases you might want to um, do rotate which gives you this rotational thing where you can turn the sphere around. You won't be able to see it um, as much as if it was a square object. And then you can stretch it okay, in different directions to make it 
different kinds of shapes okay and here's rotate again this will make much more sense now okay and um, that's basically how you build uh, when you click away that object sits there where you left it floating in space and you could click on it again and go to position and make it flat into the ground. Okay, Maybe rotate it again so it becomes a tombstone. <laughs> All right, so basically whatever you want to build. Now when you want to um, add a texture to the object um, under create, you would go to texture. Let's see, texture here and then select the texture and then choose from a number of open sim libraries texture libraries to change the texture of the object to be whatever so if you select that then the object is now has a brick texture and and it doesn't look exactly like that because you have to see how the horizontal repeats work down here Right down here you can control the repeats and that will change things on the number of repeats on the surface of the object so you can see it's affecting the disk behind us so then when you're done there it stays like that so now let's take a quick tour of Verdu down here in the right hand corner next to inventory is the word map. So let's see what Virda looks like at 10,000 feet. So it opens up a window here where you get a map. And there's a slide bar at the down at the bottom that controls the resolution of that map. And you can drag and click in the middle of the map, a lot like Google Maps kind of thing. And then here, Viridu, the regions within Viridu load up so you can see them. And so, um, as they load in, this is all from your local server, remember, you can see down here where you're actually at in this little icon that um, shows your position in Viridu. You know, um, I'll click next to it. Well, and the red dot appears, you can see. All right. So um, the thing about that is that um, it's easiest to teleport within your own region because a lot of communications doesn't have to go on between the different regions running, I guess, separate threads effectively within Open Simulator. So if I teleport to the top of the R in Viridu with this little red circle here from this location here where I'm facing outward like this okay so if I hit uh, teleport which is over here probably right here somewhere then I will effectively teleport within the same region and I just did there you can see it works now um, if I'm going to teleport in the map to another region entirely, let's say the uh, the science fiction island Viridu Isaac Asimov on the top of the hill here. Let's give that a try. Teleport. It takes a lot longer. The regions are communicating with each other. We can actually see that in the Open Simulator console, but um, we missed that now because we were looking at Hippo Viewer. And now something's up. I'm not quite sure what but I must be looking at a rock face or something. So I'm going to kind of turn around and see if I can... Oh my goodness, What? where am I? Oh boy. Let's try flying up by pressing the page up a little bit. Okay, there I am. Now things are in perspective. Wow. Okay, so this is... Um, this is like a mad scientist lair down here. Let's go check this out. It's being built by one of the residents of Viridu.